Kurt here and welcome back. We're now going to finish the Zen Meteor. Now I haven't worked on this in a while because I've been working on a lot of other stuff, but we're going to finish this puppy today. Now the Zen Meteor is actually a fairly complex gun, especially putting it together, but the paint job is actually really, really easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a very dark metallic, almost uh, with a little bit of flake um, with some Rust-Oleum, uh, I don't know what it says, brilliant metal finish. That's all it says. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use some gold. And then when we do it with the gold is we're going to treat this. Now, if we go ahead and we look at the picture here, you can see the main part of the barrel obviously has a lot of gold. And then right around the actual um, rail covering the uh, covering the barrel, there's almost like a chrome or like a chromed uh, carbon fiber. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and use carbon fiber on this only because I've tried working with it on a couple other guns and it doesn't work. And I don't really care to use that. And especially with such a big 3D print and being that this is the only one of this kind on the entire planet, I really don't want to screw it up and have to make another one. But I mean, just, I still love how, how just badass this thing feels. It feels really, really cool. And I've been working with the electronics on this. Still haven't quite gotten everything to work just right. So hopefully we'll add that stuff later. If not, you know, we'll just work on another project. But in the meantime, what we're going to do now, the rail, the scope, and part of the rear assembly in the chassis, and give it that nice dark metal flake metallic finish. And then once that's dried, we're going to tape it, and then we're going to do the rest of it in gold, and then we're going to distress it a little bit because I don't care a whole lot for the goldish color. Now, it's more of a copper, I should say, than gold, but we're just going to have to wait and see how it turns out and really hope for the best. I've put so much work into this thing. I just want to make sure that it comes out and it looks really, really good. So let's go ahead and we'll start the first coat of the toning. All right, let's do it. So here we are sitting with the Zen Meteor in the living room at the studio and we're trying to figure out how to do exactly the detail that they have on the upper part of the receiver. Now I've gone ahead and 3D printed uh, some stencils here and you can't really see what I'm talking about but if I take this and I hold it up to the light, it's actually got a very unique stencil. And then what you do is you paint the primary color and then you hit it over with a matte, uh, usually a darker color, wipe it off and then whatever remains gives you your detail. And I actually had to look online because I can't find the right color or right design. So what I ended up looking for was stencils. And uh, imported the picture and printed out an STL. And this actually has a very, very, very pretty uh, detail right there. And you can't look at it. Like you look at it right here, you're like, oh, it looks like shit. But when you hold it up there, it's like, oh, wow, there's actually a very cool detail there. So what I'll do is I'll paint this the, or, or the, the gold color. And then I'll lay it over in black. And uh, once I do that, 
it should look damn near close to what we're doing. What's up guys, it's Bert and welcome back to the shop and today we are finally gonna finish the Zen Meteor. As you can see, yes, I have painted her. She is beautiful and ready, set, let's do it. And folks, here we have the one and only Zen Meteor. The first full-scale prop of this weapon ever made, at least to my knowledge, in the world. This thing, coming in at just over 1400 millimeters, is absolutely massive. With unbelievably great detail, especially when you get into the fronter parts of the weapon, with the rifling there's actually a barrel inside there this thing is awesome i mean it i just love i love it if we go ahead and we take a look at it here got it sitting up on a paint can the detail on this is amazing though the gun is full scale this is a full scale picatinny rail so you could actually put attachments on it. Thank you, Bungie, for making everything like that. Very, very cool. Beautiful buttstock with an inlay and an actual built-in uh, pressurized receiver cylinder where you would actually have like a spring. And I just gotta say, I love the hell out of this thing. Massive magazine and trigger group on this. The scope is really, really neat. The inlay detail with this is the first I've ever tried. I'm probably gonna do a little bit of touch up down here too. But all in all, this thing is God damn gorgeous. I mean, look at it. Just unbelievable. And when you look at it, you'd think, oh, it's a cool gun. But when you see how big it is, you're just like, damn, that is a big gun. And this is the first really big scale 3D print I've ever made like this. So this is definitely a learning experience for me. I would say that if I had to go about making one of these again, I would do a couple of changes. But all in all, I'd give this one about a 90% as far as how good it could have come out. I do have a part that I'm still working on making here that will be, uh, once I figure out the modeling, it'll, uh, it'll, be, it'll be really, really neat to see how it comes out. But all in all, the model is just amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and change the camera around here and... But here we have the completed Zen Meteor. Now, I know, obviously, it's been a long time since I've worked on this. I had to take some time off to work on other projects and deal with some work in my normal job, but this thing is totally freaking awesome. People have been mentioning I should stop swearing so much, so I'm going to work on that. But anyway, this thing coming in at just over 1,400 millimeters is absolutely awesome. I love the hell out of this thing. I mean, look at it. It's just so freaking huge. And to be honest, I actually have an M107 uh, that I, how I came about owning it is not the point. This thing is roughly about the same size. If you have a shorter barrel on it, this is technically, if you were to ask me, a 50 caliber BMG anti-material weapon. And I love the hell out of this thing. I mean, it is really, really, oh my God, let me take off my, my glasses here. Oh yeah, definitely a cool build. Um, if I had to rate, you know, as far as how well I could have done this, I'd give this about a 90%. I've learned a couple tricks since I 3D printed this about how to make things bigger 
and make it uh, a little bit better and change a lot on some of the filings. This overall took me about 200 hours worth of work from beginning to end. And at, in all honesty, that's a long time. That's a lot of 3D printing. Um, I think 3D printing wise, this had probably, probably about 150 hours and then about 50 hours worth of cleaning and prepping and painting and sanding and more sanding and more painting. So this is a really, really cool build. But nonetheless, this thing is freaking badass and I love it. It's got a lot of really rich detail. The magazine is monstrous and I actually modified it a little bit down here. So normally this wouldn't be here, but I wanted to put that there just because I thought it looked a little bit different and I wanted to add a little tidbits here and there to make it you know, a little bit more special. But I gotta say for a cosplay, if I decide to go as Destiny anything this year to the new Comic-Con that we're gonna be having, this is definitely gonna be in my armory. That being said, We've got some bigger projects that we're actually working on, as well as some smaller ones that are a little bit different. But I have to say, this thing is freaking awesome. The electronics that I was going to wire into it, I couldn't find anything in the voltages that I needed, and I have limited electrical knowledge with some of the smaller things, and I have big, stupid hands, so those don't really work that well with doing that. But I think this thing came out really, really nice. I grabbed some uh, little D-rings here from uh, the local fabric store and some fabric uh this thing whatever it is in the game if you actually look at it in the 3d model on bungie's website it actually is a, it's actually a strap so i just got something that was pretty close to what i needed and then went from there uh i could have stitched something but it probably would look like crap because i can't stitch that being said it's got all the aesthetic pieces that you would have wanted from the actual gun and it is unbelievably awesome i love this thing and the fact that this is the only one on the planet right now that's pretty damn cool. So if you guys like this video, be sure to subscribe, like the video, or leave me a comment. If you have any questions or suggestions, anything you'd like to see me make here in the future, let me know. I read everyone's comments and I do respond to anyone who provided you don't say something stupid. I uh, always get back to everybody as long as I know that the comment's there. So that being said, guys, I am Bert from Pixel Armory. Like, favorite, subscribe, and we're back to our good old mischief. I'll see you guys next time.